All right, y'all. Back with another video. In this video, it's gonna be another story time. As you can tell from the title, this might be a funny one. This is the time where I found out my dog is a pimp. And it might not make sense to some of y'all. When I tell you this story, it's gonna make sense. This this right here was like a really big eye opener. Because I never thought my dog would do something like this. Until that day happened. Alrighty. Let's get into the story. Okay, so this story, this story goes back to three weeks ago. So three weeks ago, my mom let my dog outside in the front for no reason, even though I already let him out in the front, and still took him out there anyway. So when my dog gets in the front, it's a field day. He turns into Superman when he goes out in the front yard. All the way to another down the street, right? So by that time he's down the street, my mom can't even see him anymore. She's calling him, and he's not answering. So at this point, she's all scared. She doesn't know what to do. She calls me to go look for him. I'm like, we go again. So at this point, I go walk down the street. I don't see him. I don't hear him. I don't see him. I noticed that this gate was open, but I didn't pay attention to it. Like, he, he's probably not even over there anymore. Anyway. So I just keep walking around the street, walking around blocks. I don't see him. And then I see this gate open again. So then I'm like, okay, let me just look in here anyway. And then I start hearing a dog crying. I'm like, okay, he might be in here then. Then I had to take I had to take pause real quick. I'm like, okay. But walking these people's backyard, at this point I'm scared. I'm breaking and entering into somebody's backyard. They probably got a shotgun waiting on me. All kind of stuff. So at this point I'm scared. I don't know what to do. So I just creep. Just creep in the backyard. And I see my dog. Yeah. Uh, I see my dog doing some. Animal Planet kind of stuff that I can't say on YouTube, but I end up finding them. I go back down the street to my mom, and she's working at the time, so I'm like, yeah, I found the dog. I'm like, where's the dog? And uh, I said that he was doing some stuff to another dog during this season. It's dog and heat season, so... I guess when another female dog is in heat, it's like perfume to a guy dog. I don't know why, but I don't know. So then my mom stops working, gets a big tub of water. down the street. Mind you, I have a girl dog already at home. So he just decides to go all the way down the street to another dog. But anyway, like I was saying, she gets this big tub of water like this, walks down the street with it, and puts it on the, the, the two dogs. My dog and some other dog down the street. When I see the other dog, she's terrified. She's scared. She don't even Dude. And I'm like, man, what am I supposed to do about it? So I looked it up. And when you see that happen, 
You just have to accept it. You can't do nothing about it. You just gotta accept it at that point. And it said that on Google, it said it takes like 30, 30 or some minutes for it to even be over. So I'm like, planet business so I walked back down the street the first time and the other dog is like literally in the house she's trying to get in the house while my dog is literally This has to stop. I don't know what's going on. This has to stop. So, I come back. I walk back home. I come back. Back down the street. And they're free. They're not, they're not on each other anymore. They're feeling in their animal planning business. And they are free. So now at this point, I'm like, okay, let's go. My dog name is Lucky. So I'm like, Lucky, let's go. Let's go back home. This dude is just looking at me like I'm crazy. He's looking at me like this. I'm like, so you just gonna stare at me like you don't know me? And then this other dog is just mad like, who are you in my backyard? I almost had to spear the dog. I almost had to 300 spear the dog. Like, I don't know who dog this is. She got to go. So at this point, I'm like, okay, lucky, you got three seconds to come over here before I snatch you. So at this point, he's scared. He don't know what to do. He's, he, it's like he's in the middle of either going home or staying stuck with this other brown dog that he don't even know nothing about. So at this point, the dog is just, I guess, she said magic words. just follows her deeper into their backyard. Like, okay. Says something, okay. Walks all the way back into their backyard. Deeper in their yard. But at this point, this point, I kind of got a little angry. So, what ended up happening was, I ended up walking deeper in their backyard, knowing that I'm breaking the enter into somebody's yard, and they're not even home. That's the crazy part. They're not even home. So I just keep on walking in their backyard. And I just snatched Lucky. Snatched them. I get them Jamaican beatings. Every time you say a word, when I call you, you better listen. That kind of stuff. So at this point, he's scared. He takes the walk of shame back to the house and back to his kennel. And all you gotta do is listen first time. So, that concludes the story of the time I found out that my dog was a pimp. Knowing that we have a dog already, a female dog already, but he decides to just go down the street to another dog. I don't know why he did that, but yeah, I don't know. So that concludes the story. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. I see all the comments. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Watch the whole video and like it. That's all you gotta do. It's not hard. Do it every day. I do it every day too. It's not hard. So, uh, yeah, that concludes the story. I have another video to make today anyway. So, without further ado, 